Hello friends, what's up? Let's get ready for Easter dinner. I was trying to pick an outfit and I'm still very unsure, but my hair got pretty dry. Um, so I just wet it a little bit. I'm gonna blow dry it and then we're going to do makeup, outfit, all of that. And I'm very excited because this is the first time that I'm styling the bump over here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen on Instagram, we are pregnant. We are actually already 19 weeks pregnant, which is crazy to me. I don't know where this pregnancy has gone, but we're gonna get ready and we're gonna style the bump. I'm like unsure if I wanna really like show it off or if I wanna keep it low key. So we'll find out. I just heat protected and now I'm gonna brush my hair through, but I did get a new blow dryer. It's from Leifen. I will leave it linked down below. They're actually the sponsor of this portion of the video. So very fun and exciting. I've needed a new blow dryer. They sent over like a stand thingy or like a mount, I guess. So you can like hang it on your wall instead of it just being like a mess in your drawer. So I'm debating if I wanna do that here or at our trailer because I know we're gonna be there all summer long. But let me show you what it looks like. It's supposed to dry your hair way faster. It's like 50% less drying time and it's supposed to be a lot better for your hair. And the way the attachments go on is so cool. I actually used the diffuser yesterday for the first time. I opened it up and I used it and I really liked it. I feel like it worked super well. It has different settings. So it has hot, medium, and cold. Okay, here is the blow dryer. So like I was telling you, it has different settings. So it has like a medium speed and then a very high speed. And then here the light turns on. It will be blue, which means cool. Orange is like medium hot and then red is hot, hot. So let me show you. Medium, hot, cool. So you can hit it with a cool shot if you're trying to like lock in a curl or anything like that. I'm gonna do a little brush blowout like I used to do. Maybe I'll even put the curlers in so it gets really bouncy. Um, let's open this and move you guys over here. So like I was saying, this is the blow dryer. It has different attachments. I think it's so sleek and cool looking. This is the retro one I believe is what it's called. Um, and this part is magnetic. So you just like, you don't have to do anything. It just snaps on. I love that. That's like probably one of my favorite features. I'm pretty sure you can blow dry your hair like this, like a rough dry as well. Um, my hair again has been drying a little bit because I take too long to get ready. So I don't have that problem. I don't have to worry about that. So this is actually the bag that you can put all your stuff in. It's also magnetic. I feel like this would be a really good makeup bag as well. You can kind of just like flip it open, but you can put all of your attachments in here with your dryer if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You guys can check it out. If I have a discount code, I'll leave it on the screen. I've only used this once, but I really like it. Um, like I said, it's supposed to dry your hair super fast and it also eliminates frizz, which my hair gets pretty frizzy. So I'm very excited to have something that's going to combat that a little bit. It's supposed to be way better for your hair. So I already did heat protect and then I'm using a tool that is gonna be better for my hair. So I feel like we're putting in the work. We're getting, we're getting that healthy hair going. So let's do this. And I'm gonna put it on hot because I want it to stay all day. Please don't judge me. I haven't done this in a long time. Also, this is super light, so I feel like I when I used to do this, I used to use like just like a cheap blow dryer. My hand would get so heavy, but this I can kind of like whip around and it seems pretty light. Obviously, if you have a lot of hair, anything is gonna feel like a lot after a while, but so far so good. Now I'm gonna hit it with a cool shot. Uh, look at that. Do you see that? There's like a nice bounce there. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole bottom half and then report back. Okay, very bouncy. The parts that air dried, you can kind of see here, it's a little frizzy um, and I didn't get that great of a close up with it, but this part is so smooth. 
The only thing I will say is I have a hard time with the button so far. I kind of wish they were on the inside. I feel like I'm better with these fingers than my thumb, but I feel like once I get the hang of it, I'll be pretty used to it. Last time I used a round brush, my hair was a lot shorter, so I am having a difficult time, but it's not the blow dryer's fault. It's my abilities. Definitely giving blowout. We like that. All right, you guys, I think the hair is done. I definitely need to master using the round brush again because I'm a big fan and I feel like it looks so much better than when I use my other tools. It is super smooth or like it looks smooth to me and like shiny and healthy. Um, I really like it. My hair, I feel like it's tangled really easily. And with the power of the blow dryer, I think I should have rough dried it first, which now I'm remembering how I used to do it. I think I should have rough dried it a little bit more and then went in with the round brush. So yeah, my hair did get a little knotty. And then I also think that I would use the lower setting for the blowout. I think it's a little bit easier and the power is still very good. I really like the cold shot, my other one. I think it had just like a random little setting for that, but it didn't cool down as much as this one does. This one gets a really cool, which I really like. I think my hair looks good. It looks fresh, bouncy, healthy. We love healthy hair. So I'm gonna add some oil to it, just in the bottoms, I think, and then we're going to move on to makeup. But I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Um, I actually really like it. Had a little difficulties in the beginning, but I think we pulled through and it gave a beautiful result. So I am impressed. And when I tell you my hair has never been curlier when I use the diffuser, it was crazy. Like the results with the diffuser were actually crazy. And I just feel like obviously that was easier to work with because you can't really go wrong with diffusing. Whereas if you haven't done your round brushing in a while, it's a learning curve. It gives the results that everyone's trying to achieve right now without having to buy really expensive hair tools to do that. Um, and you're only putting the heat of the blow dryer rather than blow drying it and then like curling it or anything like that. My hair looks really healthy, bouncy, cute. I think even the back I got, which is a surprise, honestly. But I think I managed to get it all. And as I was doing it, I was remembering things that I used to do when I would round brush my hair all the time. And I was like, oh yeah, like this is how I would do it. And I honestly don't think I used to section it that much, but I didn't have as much hair back then. Um, it was a lot shorter, so. But I definitely enjoyed it. I think it's a technique I'm going to stick with because I think the results are really pretty. Also, I just used the Gazoo hair oil. I only use a little drop and I feel like it just like moisturizes the hair and gives it a nice shine and it makes it smell good. Also, the blow dryer doesn't make your hair smell like it's like burning off or anything. I hate when hair tools will make your hair smell like that. That is my first red flag and I'm like, hey, this isn't it for me, but yeah, time to do the makeup and I'm not gonna do anything crazy, so that should be fairly quick. I actually trimmed my eyebrows this morning. I have these scissors that I'm obsessed with and I couldn't find them for the longest time. And I feel like my eyebrows were like too long, but the scissors I had just weren't cutting it. Literally. Now I feel like they're back to browing how I like them. I also got them lifted, or oh, I got them laminated, that's what it's called, uh, a while ago, and I'm really missing that. I feel like it has faded now to the point where you can't really tell as much. They don't stick up on their own as much. So I need chapstick, but I can't find it. Where is it? Using the Robe Beauty. Some people don't like it. I personally think it's good. It's just like a lip gloss, I don't know. I don't think really any lip stuff works for me that well. It moisturizes my lips incredibly, but this does the job for the time being. I've had this Glotion for probably far too long. I, It's probably not supposed to be used anymore, but here we are. And this is on its last leg, but I do have a new one. My face has been so pale that it doesn't even match, so I haven't used it as much lately. I 
And I'm just gonna brush this through my face and onto my neck because I don't want it to not match. And then we're gonna go in with some concealer. I usually use my Merit Stick and honestly, it does the concealing for me, but I'm too pale. Got this e.l.f. concealer. It's pretty good. I feel like it's like almost dries to like a powder consistency, which is a little strange to me, but I've been using it. It does the job at covering up my blemishes decently. I feel like it has a pinky undertone, which my skin usually doesn't really have. But I just took what I could get while I was there. Merit stick. This is just a bronzing stick. Because I need color. I go to Florida next week. So bring on the color. I'm very excited to be tan. So I feel like this lighting is making me look like I have a big brown streak on my face. I'm going to highlight a little bit. I have a different highlighter from Merit that I also really like the color of. I'm just not sure where I've put it recently. I still have a good amount of stuff that I need to get done before we go for dinner. So, that's good. I gotta get some stuff for someone's Easter basket. I gotta do some prizes for, I'm doing like an Easter egg hunt for my nieces and nephews. I think I'm gonna get like bubbles or something so they can play outside after with it. Powder. We need some color and then some lashes and then we're good. Blush in Stockholm. This is probably my favorite blush color from them. Mascara, I've been using the Merit Mascara because it's so light. It doesn't weigh, it, weigh my lashes down, it keeps them up. And I like that this one doesn't clump too much. It makes them look fluffy still. Okay, I don't feel like my outfit is really serving fashionista, but we're still working on the maternity wear don't look at my room okay so this i can definitely just like wear the dress if i want to but i thought this would be like my security blanket is that cute or no i can wear pink i don't really know if i like pink and black i think i'm a pink and white kind of girl no nah. all right you guys the outfit is complete i'm wearing this long dress it's like to the my mid what's it shins my mid shin this it's from dynamite i feel like it shows up the bump but it's not like too over the top it's actually not maternity so if you want to get it i will also link that down below shirt is h&m from last year i think last summer but they do have similar styles it's like super lightweight i always wear this a bunch of different ways but i like to style it with my bathing suits with like linen shorts with dresses with like the divinity rompers those type of things i'm wearing my air forces because i just thought white on the shoes would be a good look to match the white on the top honestly i could do my converse but they're not low rise so i feel like it might look weird um hair is still very much blowout vibes cute um, I definitely have to master like waving in these pieces a little bit more at the top, but overall I really like it. Um, makeup is a fresh, like just fresh face. I like that. I think we finally pulled it together. Um, the bump is bumping. I feel like it's cute. It's also really cute just without this. So if I get hot, I can wear just that, but overall, I'm vibing with it. I think it looks really nice. It's like I just threw it on, but it literally took me forever to pick my outfit today because I wasn't feeling that cute. But now that I'm ready, I am definitely liking my outfits more. So yeah, I think that is it. it. Check. Come back here. Come back here. I'm cute. All right, you guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Those were our outfits. Um, I think I already showed you mine, but Mia just got ready. I got these cute little plate platter things at Walmart. So I'm gonna give them to Brandon's mom for Easter. And then I made this little thingy here. Figure she can put other stuff on those ones and they'll all match if she wants to use them. If not, whatever. It was only like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. So super cute. I did a little candy tray because why not but yeah that's gonna be everything so if you want to check out 
life in i'll leave it down below um definitely recommend my hair feels super soft and looks super healthy everything will be down there you can go ahead check it all out over there and as always make sure you follow me over on instagram because that's where you get the latest updates and yeah we'll see you in our next video bye happy easter